Welcome everyone to the next Click Create Artist Spotlight. Today we have Dave Krugman. What inspires you to create? It's just such a miracle to be alive. The sequence of events from the Big Bang until us having this conversation, like every little atom being in the right place, blows my mind. And I look at the world, I look at the universe as like this beautiful generative artwork. And I think it's kind of the duty of the photographer to, to stand within this, you know, mathematical construction of physics that we all exist inside of and to like freeze instances of the beauty that's being created every day. And everything kind of is just lost to the flow of time until a photographer comes along and freezes it. It's the ability to shift time so you can look at things with, with more depth and a, and a deeper sense of appreciation. And that, that inspires me to continue to create work like that. What are you most proud of in your career as a digital artist? I think I'm most proud of being able to communicate to other creatives and other artists who are a little bit earlier on their path that a creative life is possible. If I can help that kid in the back of the class who's doodling and, you know, it doesn't fit into the hierarchies and structures that society imposes on them, if I can show them some sort of doorway into a world where they can be, you know, pursue their creativity, then, I mean, that that's what I've, I would be most proud of. And I've received messages over the years that indicate that, you know, I've had at least some effect on some people uh, in that regard. So I think I would say that that's the thing I'm the most proud of. What is coming for you in the future? My next projects are, are continuing to push the trend that I've been experimenting with of like pushing into the generative side of, of photography. One thing that I love that uh, Jeff Davis of Artblox said is that generative artwork doesn't necessarily need to be code. A generative artwork is any work of art that emerges from a system of constraints and rules that you set up as, as like the you know, commander of, of those outputs. So to me, Drip Drop, it was a generative project. I, I put parameters in place, I stuck to those parameters and I made outputs of like the code of the universe, right? And so my next projects coming up are pushing that idea even further and mixing a lot of different blockchain technologies in, in interesting and compelling ways to take my photography to, to heights that could not be achieved without, without some of this more, these more generative aspects. I, I think it's gonna be a, a first of its kind project and I'm excited about that. What is your favorite movie genre? So I really, I'm a big sci-fi nerd. Like I love, 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 love sci-fi movies. Like I think I'd rather watch a bad sci-fi movie than like the best romantic comedy. It's just so cool. Like science fiction is a conversation with the future, right? And so much of what we have today, you know, video calling and these computers and, and blockchain tech, and it, it first exists as an idea, right? The imagination of Isaac Asimov can inform the communications layers of, you know, 50 years later. The three laws of robotics that Asimov wrote, you know, 1950s and 60s are like embedded into the way that we think about ChatGPT, right? Like it's ideas that inform technology and then the technology we have informs the next generation of ideas and it's this beautiful you know game of like intellectual tennis hitting back and forth over the net constantly into the future some of the predictions like you know don't come true like we don't have flying cars everywhere yet but a lot of them do come true and then the things that come true inform the next wave of ideas and you know the, the science fiction movies and, and writers of today are helping to build out the future in a really compelling way and, and I just love that idea. What are your goals as a digital artist? I want to have the, the work that I put into the world fund itself and, and you know allow me to keep creating that work. Beyond that, you know anything that I do that is a success beyond my basic needs, I want to help other artists reach the same. That's my goal with all shifts. That's my goal personally. I really think that, you know, one of the biggest purposes of life is to, to make it a little bit easier for the people around you. This is a hard thing to, to go through this entire, you know, life experience, all the ups and the downs, the roller coaster of emotions. If you can make that 
even 0.001% better for, for somebody else who's you know on this journey alongside you. I can't think of a more uh, noble goal than that.